Yeah, yeah we were both planning on studying music at uh, university. So now I was planning on uh, studying at Durham, but now it's £9,000 a year, and can't afford that. Personally, I was hoping to study uh, medicine at either Hull York or Edinburgh University. Well, I want to go and do a joint honours English degree. Right, okay, what about you thinking? Um, I want to stay in Yorkshire, preferably, but depends where I was hoping. Rachel, what were you thinking of doing? Well, I'm actually doing this foundation degree, so I won't actually be going to university until 2012. So this tuition fee is going to affect you? Yeah. Okay, where were you thinking of studying afterwards? Um, well, probably somewhere in Yorkshire as well, because I don't want to go too far. Yeah. Far. How will these changes affect your plans for the future? I think it will really hold back our generation. I really don't think it's fair, and I don't think that we should have a disadvantage over everybody else. At the end of the day, we are the ones who are taking the debt for everybody else's problems. It's just going to be like really difficult to like try and get like a good course, um, really, because it's just going to be like too expensive. Pay, um, uh, fees, yeah, the tuition fees. I know uh, I wanted to be a teacher, but if I become a teacher, I'm um, 25 grand a year starting, so I think not even that. And how can I afford a mortgage and then telephone bills, uh, gas, electric, and then a social life, and then a student student loan? How can I afford that? I'd still like to go to university. I think it's it's sort of the next thing I should do. Price, the price increases might make you think quite hard about some of the better ones that are going to charge you more. As head of year 12, the first year to be affected, what effect do you think this will have on students who haven't yet decided if they want to go to university or not? Um, I think many students now in year 12 will decide that they're not going to go to university even though they would have otherwise been ideally suited because I think they'll find it really daunting knowing that they would have to start their adult lives and their careers um, in so much debt. If you'd have been put to the similar situation as year 12, what, would you have gone to a different career path? Uh, I may well have not been able to go to university. I was the first person in my family ever to consider that. I uh, came from a family that wasn't particularly prosperous, and I don't know whether I could have taken the risk of accumulating that level of debt uh, to pursue a degree. I don't think I'd have had any choice to choose a different career path. I was the first in my family to go to university, and it was a real big ask to do. Um, and at the time they just got rid of the student grant, so I had to find some way of paying for myself while I was there, but I didn't have to pay tuition fees. If I had to pay tuition fees, even though I really wanted to go into teaching, I wouldn't be able to go to university without a shadow of a doubt. I think it's difficult to say because I now know that I'm in a career that I love and I wouldn't want to change that, but without having this hindsight, um, as a young adult, I think I would have felt that I had to pursue a different career because I would have been really worried about starting out in my life with such massive debts. No, definitely not. Because I wanted to teach and so I would have found a way of doing it somehow. Do you think it might put prospective teachers off? I think it will. I don't think there's any two ways about it. I think it will put people off who've got a real drive and ambition and will be fantastic in the profession of teaching. Yeah. And yet, because of their economic background, they won't be able to afford to go. And I think that's an absolute sad loss for the country in the long term. Yes, yes. I, I think that's a, a good question and I think it will. Um, I think it all depends on individual circumstances and uh, to, to echo what Mrs Percival said there, I, my parents would have, I would have made the same choice again if that's what would, my choice would have been, my parents yeah. would have supported me in that and yes I would teach, I would do the same career path in the same situation you're in now. But it's still going to need the supportive parents who are prepared to actually, in all honesty, be poor again yeah, when their kids go yeah. to university. It's a, it's a big, it's a huge sacrifice. Yeah. Do you think um, students might be put off from coming to sixth form mm -hmm. because of tuition fees at university? That's certainly something I'm really worried about. A lot of students come into the sixth form to get the qualifications to go on to university to continue to study, and if they know they can't afford to go to university because it's going to rack up debts, they're going to go into thirty thousand pounds. Why would they bother investing two more years in their education at first? I think that's a real worry, uh, and I think it's uh, morally not right for for youngsters to be encouraged to start a career with a huge debt. Uh, that just doesn't seem right to me. And I have to say that I think that, coupled with the removal of the educational maintenance allowance, might well discourage students from actually going into further education at 16, let alone going on to a degree at, at 18. 
do you feel like your career now would be different if you would have had all this debt to pay off afterwards, after university? I don't think the career would have been different, but I think I wouldn't, be a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. be a house owner because how anybody is going to be able to afford a house and a car and be debt free, I've no idea. Especially in certain areas of the country. Yes. I think that's going to be very difficult for uh, graduates, graduates to get on the property ladder. Yes. Especially when you've got the other outgoings as well to, to pay for once you start working. Um, that's, a, that's a, again another very good question really. I think we, your lifestyle, because when you start a career you start on a certain amount of money and of course you can increase that with promotion and with um, work experience but uh, initially it's not a huge salary that you're on anyway, no, a, a teacher no. anyway, so uh, I, I, I do... Uh, and I it's do all very well that. saying that they will only start taking the repayments back when you reach a certain level but you've still got that debt hanging over you. Obviously, the next election is going to be your first chance to vote. Is it, has it at all deterred you from voting Conservative or Liberal Democrat? I think it's definitely deterred me from voting Liberal Democrat, who seem to have sold out their beliefs. As for when you're earning, do you feel that this is going to affect for a long time into the future? Extra worry, maybe? I think so, because um, I know... This is if you were in your yeah. job now. Um, well, my brother's got some friends that have actually gone through the current tuition fees and they're yeah. still in debt 20 years on. Right, okay. Okay, do you feel that um, potential doctors are going to be put off now these prices have gone up? I hope not, however I expect they will do, yes, especially people from poorer backgrounds. What is the bottom line for this year, these new tuition fees? I think it will encourage more of the, you know, benefits, which will put everybody in a, a sticky situation, especially with the government. Okay. I think we might end up pricing a lot of people out of higher education and putting a lot more pressure on the, the less qualified jobs, uh, a lot more pressure into those industries, maybe a lot more unemployment. I'm against the proposed changes to university tuition fees. We're against proposed changes to university tuition fees. We are against the proposed changes to university tuition fees. We're against the proposed changes to university tuition fees.